happy Halloween, all of you spooky motherfuckers. It's strictly speaking episode number seven, and obviously I am dressed as Pikachu, the famous Pokemon character, the mascot of the franchise. And Piggy, what are you dressed as, mate? I'm dressed as a cold Marvel fan who's just warming up in a Marvel branded Snooky, Snuggle, Snuggle, whatever they're called. It's a weird jumper blanket thingy. I got him pennies like a year or two ago. Or if you're anywhere else in the UK, I got it from Primark. And um, if you want to be technical about it, um, it's got pennies over here. So shut up if I miss call it. So uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's that's all. Yeah, yeah and just... I suppose just for general housekeeping, obviously this is episode seven of Strictly Speaking. It's week six of them dancing. So obviously when you hear. When you hear the judges be like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's week six now. It's obviously the sixth week of dancing and the seventh week of the show. Um, What do we miss? Well, last week I had a drinks night on the Sunday, so I went, Piggy, please, I don't want to do it. Please, I need a break. Don't make me do it. Um, So obviously I had my break back now, back in the swing of things. What we missed, uh, the dance-off was a dance-off between Eddie and Karen and Zara and Graziano. Obviously, Zara and Gratz won, and Eddie was made to leave. And just remember, everybody, first 10 of the series. Mmm, how's that taste? Tastes like shit, doesn't it? How's your 10 today, dickhead? Mm, dickhead. Not, so, wipe, wipe your tears away with that. That 10 was for you and your country and all of your work and your goals that you all did, you know. And Eddie was, he was okay, but he was a one-trick pony. And eventually got found out. Um, <laughs> that, so, that sounds like we're fucking cancelling some YouTuber. They were a good YouTuber, and then we found out the truth. And I'm like, what? what, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, he, he was just simply not good enough for the competition. And that's fine, because, well, we got all the people that are in this week who are all levelling up week by week by week. Um... Unsure whether we'll do. I think I think we'll go back to the normal format. Last week I was like, yeah, let's just not do the Sunday shows for a while, and then went, and then during this week I just went. There's only 15 weeks. I, can, I think we can fuck. I think I can fucking manage that one. I think I can manage watching a 45 minute episode of Strictly on Sunday, even if I would love. I would love the Sundays back. Would love them, but what the fuck can you do? We have obligations to hit. So. It should go back to normal tomorrow. But for now, we're going to recap all of the dances and the scores and what we thought of all the judges of all of the Halloween night of week seven of Strictly. So without any further ado, let's get into Shame. the first dance. Hmm? Can I just say, right, you look at me, right, this thing, like, this is like a fucking hot, right? I'm covering my face. We go to you, yours is like a beanie you put on, which is all like that. <laughs> I mean, it can go down, but also, I kind of got to read my notes, so yeah, you know, I can't read. Really no, I'm just, just be saying doing it like this. I, no, 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 but I'm just saying like this one's very baggy, and yours is just like, please help, we're, we're holding by threads. Well, it happens when you're a, you're a big strong boy, and you grow up to be a big strong man. Seven foot. Twenty twenty three. Absolutely. Twenty twenty three. Calm down. Um, men are not men, men are not women. So, first up, I suppose also we didn't really get to talk about it because I'm pretty sure she withdrew earlier in the week. Uh, Amanda's gone. Um, she withdrew from the competition for reasons unknown. The week before it was a medical issue, and obviously it seems to have propelled. Probably a chance that all the Twitter people got, on, got a bit into her shit. Um, people got angry at her, but we don't need to talk about the reason why, as we did in last um, episode. All, um, all, I say, all, all, all I'll say is, here we go, 15 minutes, 10 minutes of fucking, um, not, um, all I'll say is, it depends on what happens. I mean, it I, could also be a health issue. Yeah, it could, it could generally be a health issue, but if she did just quit because of the pressure, I'm going to be like, Haha, you're a fucking loser because you're a celebrity and you got it. No, 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 I'm just basing this off. It might not be true. And if it's not true, you can hold me accountable. But, but, <laughs> but all I'm saying is if you left because Twitter people got mad at you for your opinion, 
You're a fucking loser. You're bigger than them. You get paid more than them. Have them just sit on their ass. Have a wank and go. If you look at it, if you look at that woman's tits, it's not actually that big. If you look at it, you know. And then you're like, you get you look fucking a more Amanda. Can't yeah, think. it's a uh, obviously. Let's not make any bold claims or any real uh, sweeping statements, as the reason hasn't been noted. Last week it was a medical dis- a medical uh, reason, and you know. Perhaps she got COVID and can't really return and practice. You know, perhaps she's just genuinely ill. So uh, if that's the case, all the thoughts and prayers to the family. Um, yeah, not to her. Fuck her. <laughs> all the thoughts and prayers to the family. Uh, Fuck you. You deny that people exist. If she, oh, has God, on you. Just, can't. if she has just left because she couldn't handle the heat, well, maybe she shouldn't be fucking stoking that fire every couple of fucking days. But regardless, that's, that's we already did our massive bit about that whole situation. So let's carry on with the actual dances. Obviously, this week we have Halloween, so everybody's all dressed up all fancy. Piggy's just like, why don't they do movie night at Halloween? And I'm just like, because they'd like to have movie night be separate. But yeah, but they're dressing up anyways. And then they all came out and Piggy's like, yeah, they're dressed up. Woo! Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, li- I like when shows actually acknowledge Halloween um, because, you know, I understand Christmas is big and everything, but, again, it's better when you acknowledge both holidays instead of just going, right, it's October, nothing happens, shut up. Christmas is just two months away. Let's go. So, yeah, I, I, are you playing with yourself? Um, you're playing with your little head ears. Um, so, yeah, I, I was happy when they all came out in their little costumes. And they all did a little sexy dance, especially Leighton and Nikita. Yeah. Your, little he- just... your little head ears. Because <laughs> we all have ears <laughs> elsewhere. Um, your little Pikachu ears. Uh, um, but yeah, obviously everybody all dressed up, all fancy, Halloween-y theme. All good. I'll be honest, the, the lineup of music was actually quite mid for Halloween. But then again, I still just want like a fucking... like like rock opera ballad where it's Michael Myers and she and he's trying to kill her but she's like like fighting him off and that's just what I want. Um, I don't know no I'm not I'm not again I'm not a tax a tech savvy with this dark nonsense. I'm not saying I am I'm not. I'm f- fair enough fuck my head's attacking me. But um maybe licensing issues or just how much that would cost because I don't know how international laws work. Because we have different, you know, fucking, you know. Uh, I'm just saying, might be licensing right or, or international laws. There we go, international. I don't know international law. You don't know fucking UK law, law either, big man. <laughs> I don't even know Irish laws. You don't, you don't know fucking glue. What were you actually going to say? <laughs> what I was just saying, saying, I don't... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying the fact that licensing issues or copyright laws might be affecting it. I mean, I they... think it's why they have the live band, right? So you can say yeah. it's a live performance, you know, it's all, we're all just, you know, it's, it's a cover. So I'm sure you don't really need to license all these songs because I'm sure you can just get around it somehow. No, no, no. I mean, for like the Michael Myers thing, it also might be yeah. a pre watershed. You don't really want. A killer, you know, he's trying to kill you but fall in love with you, and your kids are watching it. Uh, mean, you don't really want, I mean, want you that. Fuck, you, got, you got vampires and shit. Uh, yeah, I but that's pretty water. Think about, it. Think about you know, everybody's that's... seen a horror film now. Come on now. We're not fucking, it's not, it's not the 60s. Now we can get away with fucking doing that. <laughs> like, you, you don't. You either understand the fucking context or you don't. It's not like somebody's going to see that and go, wow, what's that, Daddy? Well, Michael Myers murders people. Daddy, what's a murder? <laughs> What'll happen in five minutes if you don't shut the fuck up, kid? I'm trying to watch Strictly. I'm trying to watch it. <laughs> there we are. It's, in- um, it's inaccurate because the dad will be like, I'm not watching Strictly. I'm not watching it. Then you go up to the bedroom and he has it on the TV. <sighs> We're not I in, fucking we're, love you, Angela. We're not in 2003 anymore. Uh, you, that's just still like that. Some, some. But regardless, let's talk about the actual dancing. 
I wasn't expecting the preamble to go on this long, but Piggy started talking about all the laws that he knows, and <laughs> come on now, we don't know any laws. Don't, let's not act as if we have any level of competence or intelligence. <laughs> We're just here to chat the shit. Angela, Scanlon, and Carlos are up first. They're doing a Paso Doble to Black Swan, Swan Lake by District 78. Um, okay, so Angela's kind of... Is she, her stage, in her stance on the competition, is kind of... It's been fluctuating a bit, really. She's had a couple of meh performances where uh, some of the characteristics of her dancing, some of her shortcomings are being exposed. The judges, week after week, are saying, you're too stiff, you're not fluid, you need to have it flow. Um, and it just so happens that doing the Paso Doble, fucking perfect for this one. <laughs> like, my God. Yo, you want me to be very stiff and very heavy in my movement? Perfect. Do it. Uh, it's, why, it's, why, it's the only reason Krishnan's still in the fucking competition. Because he got to do one of those, and he got to actually play to his strengths. Um, but Angela and Carlos's Paso Doble, I wrote, it was pretty fucking good. Um, it was strong. It was very pointed. It, it drew the viewer in. I did. I did enjoy. I don't know. I just. I just really like a good Paso Doble at this point. I think I've, I'm realizing it's one of my more favorite favorite dances. I think there's just a really good. There's a lot of like variety, but a lot of it is still the same, and we've seen a lot of different takes on it. Um. Obviously, wrote how much how much more stricter movements helped the dance a lot more. Um, it was engaging and themed quite well. I also thought it was a really good improvement, and it was because it focused on what the dance was trying to tell and like the story content. A very cool dance and a much better performance than what she's been putting in as of late. I gave it a seven. Uh, obviously, Ash didn't want to review the costumes, but. I'm reviewing the costumes and the dances. I barely reviewed the dances, so it's just going to be a line about the costumes. Um, so for this costume, I said I love the costume. It looks good. 6 out of 10. And for the dance, I just put, like the dance, 5 out of 10. When you said you were going to review the costumes, I thought you were going to like do the me and be like, oh yeah, great costume. And as you can see this. I wasn't expecting just costume. It's a good costume. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I just know it down from oh, after them. Fuck you, know. <laughs> you, 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 you gotta, you gotta use some slightly different words. You can't just say everything's good. You have to, ver you have to ver vary the words. Look, look, and... look, 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 look. Unlike you, I did, I did dumb English. I did LCA English. Yeah, well, it doesn't mean you can't pick up a fucking thesaurus. I can't read. Well, you know, you don't have to read. You, you can hear what, you know, you've got to vary up the words, mate. People will get fucking sick of it. I know, that's the entire point. Yeah, but that's not good. <laughs> that's not fucking good. you got to vary it up. Don't want to be okay, a broken I... record. I can just play, I, to, to do the strictly fucking review, I can just get a soundboard of you saying it was good and then get you to say the numbers. And I can just piece that together. You got you, you know, you can make it. You can make it different. You can make it special. That's that's a lesson to all you content people out there. It's not about what you say. It's about how you say it. And if you say it in a fancy way or a way that people go, "I was pretty fucking funny." Like, you know, it sets a bit more than it was good. <laughs> Three out of ten. You know, there we are. Breathe that in. Breathe that in. Didn't write that down for you, notably. I told you that. Read that with your brain. From your ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That got a 33 from the judges. It's a marked improvement from previous weeks. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the swan aesthetic. As wanky as that sound sounded. Although Carlos did have a weird triangle in his fucking head. Which I thought he was supposed to be a vampire, but he was just a swan. Uh, yeah. Cheers, Carlos, for that one, you weirdo. Not his fault, of course. That's the makeup department's job. Anything else to say about this dance, Piggy? No. <laughs> it's, it's all right, it's all right, Piggy. It's all right. Be fine. Um, next up, we have Adam, Thomas, and Luba. They're dancing the American Smooth to Magic Moments by Perry Coma. Don't know. The name just sounds weird. I'll 
leave it at that. Um, this one was a lot. This one was quite good as well. Um, as I still strongly believe, as fuck me, the heat's absolutely setting on this fucking onesie. Good lord, Jesus! It's been hit by a sudden wave. If I'm, you know, I, I feel like I've got a hot flush. <laughs> Getting that early onset menopause, mate. It's on the way. At the age of twenty-three. Um. For Adam's dance, I said, I still believe his, his strengths belong in the ballroom. Um, he is smooth and carries a really, like, strong leading man presence. It's not entirely him, you know. It is, it is Luba leading the entire time. He's not that competent yet. But you, we got to see a lot of the very key aspects of his dancing and his talents, which is his footwork is phenomenal at this point. He's really worked hard on those fundamentals. Um, and it was just, I don't know, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't want to see Adam do any other dance other than, like, a slow ballroom number. That's all I'll say. What do you reckon? I rated the costume, the, the costumes were very elegant, very smooth. Look at me go. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like Dr. No stroking that cat, just, yes! <laughs> Mod! <laughs> uh, 6 out of 10 um, now obviously this is only to Ash I already mentioned it but if you're if you're a wrestling connoisseur like us um, he got the fucking Randy Orton pyro the golden shower in the background where all the where all the sparkles fall out I suppose um, also the costume just to say on that a bit more it was it was like it was like a nerdy little like it wasn't a wizard it was more like it was it was a bit like Hogwarts but it was a bit I don't, it was just this dance was really fucking wholesome. Like they they both looked like they had the best time in the fucking world. It was really sweet. It was really like it was just it was just adorable. Like I'm I'm I, I could like go throw up and I'd throw up some fucking candy floss because it was just like bubble gum and fucking ah oh, it's just ah oh, it hit me right in the heart. I'm I'm doing it on the no that is the right side or the left side. Um. It was just really wholesome. I just, I don't know. It warmed me heart. And at this point, I'd probably rather it not be warmed because fucking hell, Pikachu. Do you want to do you want to calm down with this heat? Um. Next up, we have Zara. Are you hopping here? Did mm -hmm. I, I, did, did I, oh, I didn't, we did, give, I didn't my... give any of the scores. Yeah, you didn't even give me my score. I just read it. The costume. You didn't uh, fucking... Yeah, you're going five miles ahead of me. I'm I'm sat here like a granny in the background, like, oh, what's going on, kids? I don't understand this lingo. Help! Um, I I I enjoyed the dance. the The footwork was good. It was a very good footwork. Like he he knows how to use his legs, you know, or his feet. And um, if we had that, if we have that feet person that we know in this call, they would be, they would be very excited at this. Um, <laughs> exactly like that. Um, eyeing up them feet like wow me when I see Tony Khan stamp your fucking foot stamp that fucking foot boy um, yeah and enjoyed the dance 6 out of 10 Um, the dance was good it was just good I gave it, it an it 8 just... um, it got 32 from the judges and as said before it was just it was just very sweet it was a nice little taste of something else as a lot of these dances are supposed to be you know they're, they're a lot more they're, a lot of them are themed a lot darker, you know, a lot of them are kind of like, oh, spooky, Halloween, woo, this one's like, ah, oh, this one, like, you, you can imagine two kids, like, doing this, just, like, having a great time, like, making some popcorn as they wait to watch, like, The Thing or something, and they're gonna, like, fucking shit themselves later, but the popcorn was worth it in the moment, like, ah. <laughs> uh, Ever do, um, chocolate popcorn? Nah, I'm not really a big popcorn guy. Okay. It's just I don't know. I don't like I I don't like snacks where it feels like I'm just eating air. I feel like that's what you do in your popcorn because it's like you don't. It doesn't really sit with you. You don't really. It's it's like you 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 could just not eat it and there would be no difference in how you feel. It's just nice and then it just kind of vanishes. I do like popcorn personally. Um, whenever I go to the cinema, I get it with extra butter. You know, I'm fat. And um, when I when I'm at home and I want some popcorn, I get honey salted popcorn, and it's delicious. Um, 
do love toffee, sticky toffee uh, popcorn. I nearly said cock porn, sticky toffee uh, popcorn. Um, I, I, I'm not about I'm not about the sticky life though. Like I've had some of those bags of popcorn. You're just like, Ugh. I'm 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 not I'm not a big sticky guy. I'm I'm not about that life. You keep that shit away from me. You keep those hands away. Get the fuck out. Don't you dare come near me. I'm a uh... Yeah, I ain't about that sticky hands life. I well, wash my hands a lot, so that's a, that's a deep insight into my psyche and clearly yeah. my skin. Whoa. Yeah, then you look at my rough and elegant. Take, taking care of that bitch. Um, oh no, fuck it. Next up, we have Zara and Graziano. They're dancing to Charleston to Jeepers Creepers by Al Donahue. Donahue. And his orchestra. I, I, I do like people naming things after themselves. Don't have the fucking balls. Actually, I, di- I, did, I did name a soapbox after me when I reviewed Hollyoaks 2050. I do. I do have the balls to name something after myself. Gotta love it. Wait, so, wait, wait, so you do the soapbox not only on Aqua Dreams, but you also do it on Watching Walford? Um... I mean, no, but there was the one time I, I brought out my soapbox for when I was reviewing Hollyoaks 2015. Ah, yeah, okay. I do have two separate soapboxes that are on two separate channels in two separate. We're gonna have a word. We're gonna have. We're gonna have a word after the after this call. I mean, you, you told me to name it the soapbox. Did I? When, when yeah. did I tell you? To, when did I tell you that? Well, it happened. I remember. I remember. So. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll get the receipts. Um, I won't, that's too much effort Alright, so Zara and Gratz Obviously they've been in the dance off for like Two weeks straight, or maybe even three At this point Um, I could probably And probably this week Um, And definitely this week Um, I think we're starting to see the ceiling of Zara I think, obviously It's been a point of contention To say that, like, maybe She needs to fully give it Everything Um but simply saying, uh, she was in week three in the bottom two. She was in, okay, uh, she's only been in there. She's been in there for three weeks straight. And she's probably going to be in there for, for a fourth week. Um, simply saying, Zara, I think, has capped out on her potential. She has developed a lot since her initial dances. But I think that Gratz, is, Gratz, is, Gratz knows that she's not a very good dancer. And that's why every single dance they do, there's a massive fucking lift. There's a lot of spins. He just chucks her about. And it like it takes away from a lot of the issues that Zara has and that she's just not a very good dancer. I simply wrote, Zara needs to ascend to a higher level here, otherwise she's going to be booted from the competition. Um, and I also read, I think that Gratz realizes that Zara's pretty mid, so that's why they focus on like big lifts and flair. Um, and the dance, it was just a very, it was a very mediocre Charleston, honestly. It lacked a lot of the, the Charlestons are quite punchy, they're quite expressive. I don't like the dance at all, I fucking hate the Charleston. It's so samey every single time I see it, I really don't like it anymore. But you can tell a good Charleston out from a bad one, and this one lacked a lot of the bounce, it lacked a lot of the flow, and just fundamentally, she's just not good, so. um. I simply went, she's gone. <laughs> she's gone this week. What did you give it, Piggy? What did you think about it? Uh, the costume was 7 out of 10. They were scary, sexy skeletons. Yeah. The, a bit of... the costumes were a bit weird. It was a bit uncanny for me. I looked at the costumes and I'm just kind of like, I'm not sure if this is cool or just... I, something felt off about it. I was slightly unsettled by Zara's weird skeleton face. Gratz obviously looking sexy as ever. But, Gra- you, know. you know, I think Gra- Graziana is the, ma- is the male fella, isn't it? Yes. He looked like he had a, like a bag or a condom on his face. Like the, there was just a texture around his face for some reason when I looked at it. Like you know, you know when like like when you have a clear plastic bag on your head, but you can't see the bag, but you can see the texture. It, mm-hmm. It's like he had like it's like there was a fucking texture on his head, like his head was plastered on, like it, like. It might sound weird the way I'm saying it, but it just looked like that. It looked very, like, shiny, basically. Shiny and plasticky. It's basically fantastic. like this. 
Uh, love the dance. Um, want to see more of it, honestly. Want to see more of it. Um, of this dance. I love the... Yeah, this dance. Okay. I want to see more of it. I like the lifts. You know, I fucking love a good... Because cause mostly whenever me and Ash see the lifts, we go, Jesus, this is going to turn into a wrestling move, isn't it? They're going <laughs> yes. to fucking... Yes. <laughs> oh, boom! Just immediate Don't wrestling know. move. But like, but I whenever I see the lift, I'm like, oh god, please do not drop her, please do not drop her, because it's never really going to be the female doing it to the male, because like we do, we will see it, but the chances are more yeah, than likely I mean, to be just, male to female. I mean, I mean, dancing is a very male-led like performance art, right? So, like, you know, no, women, no, are, no, women no. are still wearing fucking heels, so you know, like, it's a it's a very male-led thing. So all the lifts are generally going to be. The men, um, yeah, which because fine, because you know, like yeah, you, like you you you're telling me Gratz is weaker than Zara, probably fucking not. You seen him? Whoa. Anyway, like um, like again, if Zara had to lift Graziana, I'm not saying she'd hurt her back, but I'm just saying the muscle that Graziana probably has would be a lot heavier than what Zara would have, like. I mean, I just said she, put, she wouldn't be able to fucking lift it, would she? No, no, it'd he's, be like it'd be he's like he's a hell of a man. Yeah, it'd be like me trying to li- it'd be like me trying to lift my dad. I can't do it. I was going to do a job have there, you, but I decided to retract. Uh, have Have you tried? I have tried. He's tried to lift me, and he's nearly pulled his back out. I tried to lift him, and then we sarcastically did the pounce today. You know the pounce. Um, where he tried to pounce you me just, and I just fucking tackle someone, and I I just went away and he sarcastically uh, jumped into a bush. Nice, nice, sounds good. To be fair, yeah, you fucking... last time I lifted my dad was at the funeral. He was in a coffin. <laughs> good times. <laughs> actually, actually, you want a funny story about a coffin? Oh Jesus! Um, <laughs> um, at my granddad's funeral, I couldn't go for obvious reasons. I was only about five or six. Um. His brother, his I don't know how he's related to his brother or his stepbrother. He had a he had a few scoops, you know, had a few drinks. So obviously, you know, when they're bringing you back down the aisle, bringing you to the graveyard, they're all carrying it. So there's like these six men, and then it's my dad and his brother, and my not my dad's brother, but my granddad's brother in the back, and they're walking, and then oh oh oh, he nearly he nearly slipped, and he nearly went flying out of the coffin. Sound. So, so my granddad caught a feed and an exposed fucking. He got to have been sliding on the on the church floor. He would have been doing murder on the dance floor, literally. Exactly. Um, yeah. What did you give it though? What did you give it this dance? Uh, I gave it a five out of ten. Yeah, uh, we're still on Sarah, Sarah and Graziano. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Five out of ten. Not for long. I just want to see. Yeah, I want to see more of it, but will I see more of it? No. Well, He's you'll gone. see it in the dance off. Yeah, yeah. So you, you will, you will get your wish. Um, I gave it a five as well. It got twenty five from the judges. It, it was the weakest dance of the night, and as I said before, like Zara's like, yeah, I finally, I'm, I'm peaking, guys. I'm gonna peak. I'm peaking, and it's like this hit. This is you peaking. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> like <laughs> it's just. This is your. This is your best. That's just. It's not good enough, mate. It's week six of strictly. Like you got to be better than this. Maybe she'll let go and the dance off, but ultimately, time will tell. Next up, we have Leighton and Nikita. They're dancing a tango to "Vampire" by Olivia Rodrigo. Um, I'll say you first. The song sounded like it was being sung by like your middle-aged mum. Uh it was just it was just slightly off. I I was describing it as piggy as it was like the fucking Broadway pantomime version. Like you know, like 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 the actual recording of Let It Go is like normal, but you know, the fucking the one on stage is like fully expressive and this was the cover of Vampire. Um it was a very good dance, and honestly, this time, as before I get into my... What did you think of this dance? I just want to... Because um, I've, I've been a hefty critic of Leighton and Nikita for a while, so... Uh, love, 
Uh, love the costume. Leighton, I think Leighton is the correct one here. Leighton looks like an old-timey Elsa. Nikita looks cool, like an old-timey president. Like, he looks like um, an 1800s or a 1700s president. Big puffy wig, big puffy jumper. Well, they weren't jumpers back then, but you know what I mean? Big puffy kind of I mean, things. I mean, they, they are they are supposed to be vampires. Yeah, I know. It's, One's obviously uh, woman Dracula, I think. And the other is just sexy vampire. And uh, it got a 10 out of 10 for me, the costume did. Guys. Um, I also love backflip into the fuck position. Uh, <laughs> you seen that? The backflip right into missionary. <laughs> I just, honestly, the one thing that I really love about their, them two dancing together is they have this really sexy chemistry. Like... But, and- I can see why people get attached to dancers and people like pair them up because like oh oh my god oh <laughs> it's just fucking gorgeous Nikita's a sexy man like he could do it he could do anything bite me please Nikita bite me next fucking Leighton get out the fucking way oh, it's me I'm next get munching on that fucking neck big man um, um... but this time it was also it was a it was a huh? compelling story. It was a very cool, like they both wanted to be together, but they also kind of wanted to just murder each other. <laughs> so it's like who's gonna strike first? And then it finishes off with the fucking somersault into missionary. Mwah. gold. Um, I said uh, I want to see more. Want to see more sexy dances? As if as I'm like me going into Krispy Kreme. Which, if you want to know, like, Krispy Kreme's a donut factory. Um, you know, it's Krispy Kreme. Yeah. So, basically, if I walked into a donut factory, I'd be like, oh, oh no, I don't want to leave. No, please. Don't take Nikita and Le- Leighton from me. And I also did say to Ash, I want them both to do me. Spit roll style. Yeah, and I went, well, well, I, I, started, I, started, I started thinking the, the logistics, you know, how's that happening? <laughs> Like, like, like if you're like here's a here's a thing to all men and women. If you want to impress your partner, do a fucking backflip into missionary. There'll be you got to bounce on that thing like it's a fucking pogo stick. It, it would you know be, what I mean? It would be very impressive. Yeah. But I'm waiting for the backflip on on like on like six beers. Oh fuck! Oh god! <laughs> I gotta go. But yeah, this got a 9 from me, it got a 36 from the judges, and what did you give it, Biggie? Just like the costume, and I'm not biased. I promise I'm not biased. I'm definitely not biased. <laughs> we all know what you can say with me now. It's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Let's go. I... Give them... Yeah, I. it was good. Um, judges commented saying that Look, Leighton, we know you're good, but your footwork's a bit shit, mate. Like, it needs to get better. Focus on the basics now. You need to nail these basics, then you're fucking fantastic and incredible. Um, But they just went, nah, your footwork's slap, slocky, slocky, sloppy, mate. Which is kind of wild to see that, obviously, Leighton putting fucking everything into it, you know. Like, doing everything amazingly. And them just say, yeah, but your footwork's not even that good, though. Ah, that's mental that is i respect it though um but yeah i just nikita is a sexy man i love him i want him to bite me uh politely would he please do that consensually as well i mean you can't get someone to bite you well i guess you could but who who resorts to bite him immediately not me. Well, it's it's a kink, isn't it? It is. Like anything is a kink when you think about it. Eating chocolate, king. Not quite. Ru- rubbing can... baby oil on yourself and then then eating spaghetti, neck. Can you oil kink. yourself up and pop out of my wheelie bin? Probably not that. Thing, let's be honest. I want you to. I want you to smell <laughs> and, and dress it... like a bin man. Pop out and <laughs> take me. All right. If that's what you want. <laughs> Not my first choice, but you know what? Whatever, whatever you say goes. Um, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, Biden is probably a king. Like, oh, know, definitely. Is, it is for that. sure. I know that. 
Yeah, but, but the problem is, when does what the do biting go I from... mean biting in the platonic sexy way. I mean the not sexy way. The not sexy platonic biting. Um, my question is, when does the biting go from soft to like hardcore? It's well, when you start bleeding, when you're does... like, oh, fucking hell. Like, when does someone go from, hmm, to, ha, ah, ha, ah, just I fucking mean... pure dog bite? Oh, Jesus. Why am I uncorking the, this story? There was one, <laughs> there was one little, one li little, little romantic rendezvous where I was, basically, I'm not saying, oh, God, I'm going to sound like a prick. Um, I'm not saying that this person was a bit of jealousy bait and I was trying to make someone else jealous by doing stuff with this one person, which I was, let's be honest. Um, and she decided to just, she thought it was all cute and sexy to like bite my lip and like bite my neck. But like at this, at the end of this fucking session, I was, it was, it was like fucking scolded down my neck because it was just fucking red. And I'm like, oh my God. Been attacked by a fucking zombie here. Like, <laughs> holy shit. No, I definitely was not my finest moment. It was not my finest hour. And let's be real, that did not happen again. <laughs> that was he not He says that and then he slowly, he slowly ah, just... Oh, on, on. Here we go. He's just, like, he's just like, here you go, lads. Here you go. Like, you know, and it's... <sighs> It was on those things. It's like, oh, it's bite me. I was like, oh, and she's like, oh, sexy. And I'm just like, oh, fuck it now. It's not a sexy thing. I'm in pain. Just just hold on, hold on, love. I need to get my sandwich first. Um, 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 oh, I'm ready. Ah. Well, fuck I, you. Yeah, it was, uh, that was a, that was a time. Uh, one, one, not for the, not for the grandchildren. Children. Grandchildren. Grandchildren. <laughs> not one for the grandchildren. <laughs> One for the vault to lock away, as I don't want to think about it ever again. Vampires, Until though, are quite sexy. Love a good vampire, me. Again, okay, people who know me, my babysitter, my babysitter is a vampire. <sighs> 10 out of 10 show. Um, probably didn't watch the season finale, but I recommend it. Song yeah. slaps. This theme song slaps. Did we give the, the scores for this one? Uh, I don't think we get the judges score. We d we did get the judges score, didn't we? We uh, did. We did. Just to recap, what did you give it? Ten. I gave it a ten out of ten. I gave it a nine. Judges gave it a thirty-six. Next up, we have Bobby Brazier and Diane. They're doing the cha 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 to "Come on a uh, My House" by Della Reese. Not I don't know how the fuck that that song title said. Um. This dance Come on got... at my house, Italian style. Um, this dance got a lot of flack from the judges, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, what were the outfits like, though, first and foremost? Uh, I love the costume. They are Hansel and Gretel, aren't they? They're supposed to be Hansel and Gretel. Yes, they are supposed to be Hansel two... and Gretel. The two kids who go, for people who want to know, who go to the witch's house, and the witch just feeds them full of food, makes them little fatty kids, and then tries to eat them. Um... I think that I think I I might be confusing that with the Simpsons version, but I think that's it. Um, yeah, yeah that's handsome and Gretel. The costumes, like the, the costumes, were good. Um, fuck it. Also, um, just very. I, I, it's kind of pretty much. Imagine Oktoberfest. Imagine like German type, like fucking. It, there wasn't necessarily lederhosen, but it it, it kind of was, in a sense. Uh, that was kind of the look. Do you know what, like Prince Charming from like it's a Cinderella, I think. Where he's in like the red and he's wearing the you know, the shirt. He looked like Prince Charming. So the Bobby. He's red and wearing the shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that red man, your man's wearing that fucking shirt, like uh, <laughs> right. I I you understand what you're talking about, I don't. <laughs> I'm, one of the, I'm the fucking your man who like wore the red pants and the shirt, like from Cinderella, the Prince Charming, I think, or Snow White, one of the movies. Yeah, yeah, now that mate, now great, great comparison there. Someone will get it, and I want that person to comment and make feel piggy validated. Um, Please, 
Or, I mean, or, or Nikita. If Nikita wants to come and say, I'll bite you, I'll just fucking have a, have a, have a little happy cry in celebration. Imagine you have to, like, well, you well, have well, to fly Welcome to Bonfire me. Night, because that shit's going to be going off. Cocked and loaded. Bite me, Nikita, please. <laughs> That's an innuendo. There we are, just in case people don't understand. Um, all right, so the this chapter chair. Bobby's got hip still, and it's an undisputed fact, and he is just really I don't know, he's just he's got the perfect like frame for this. He's lean, he's long. I've said it so many times this season, but he's he's so long. He's so long. And if he just lets everything flow into the other, he looks so smooth in how he's doing it. Um, like, so because he's so lean, like, his limbs are long, he extends everything, he allows, like, motions to, like, blend together. I just wrote, he's lean, he's fluid, it's utterly fantastic. Eight from me, 30 from the judges. Is he lean, mean, bald, and got a Yamaha key drum machine? That's the real question. Um... If I know they're getting the Northern Bison trickly come dancing. Good question. Uh, the dan- I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just read it the way I wrote this. Uh, they dance pr- uh, they dance pretty good. They brought the hips out. You know what I'm saying, G? Um so eight out of ten. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um I'm we hip and down with the kids. One, two, three, four. You have five dancers left, as obviously there's now only ten dancers in the competition. Uh, as obviously, I think we're like one ahead of schedule. Um, since uh, Annabelle, not Annabelle, Amanda, Amanda. Yes, since she she quit or withdrew. Um, next they up we quit. have. They They withdrew. They quit. Well, wow. well. Wow. They were a posse and queer. And turns out she has cancer or something. <laughs> well, well, got, got back at you, you bitch. Protecting myself. Next up, we have Krishnan and Lauren. They're doing a Viennese waltz to Kiss from a Rose by Seal. Now, Piggy, why do we love Kiss from a Rose by Seal? Um, for people who are a new connoisseur to the channel, uh, using that term again, they make myself wanky and fancy. A watch um, connoisseur. Yeah, Got a good ring to it. Con- connoisseur. Connoisseur. Um, you, would, you would know that um, when we reviewed um, Cindy Beale's return in June 2023, I know it's 2022, you would know there's a famous... It, I, I don't know if it's on YouTube in its full because kind of thing YouTube, it's in the background where it's all muffly and you can't really hear it. Yeah. Um, so basically, George Knight, he yeah. rings... <laughs> seal. Um, he basically rings uh, who he thinks is um, Rose Knight and who is basically the mother to his two kids yeah and he basically goes why are we explaining this to the fucking street the audience we're in his uh, uh, channel ah uh, who cares <laughs> we're in his and then channel he bas- <laughs> you're here because of the EastEnders you know and then who the basic- fuck George Knight is and, and then basic- is and then basically when he rings he has a kiss from the Rose playing but that's one of me to explain it, so I explained it. And now I will say, baby, ooh, the more I get of you, the stranger it feels. Yeah, I was baby. just like, I was just, the, the realisation dawned on me. Hold on. I'm just doing it because you explained. We're not, uh, you were we're like, not hey, exactly please getting explain. a massive strictly audience here. You know, we've got, we've got the, the, we've got the regulars, you know, appreciate you. Shout outs to you. <laughs> But yeah, we are just the the soap channel, so that is yeah our the only soap channel that that matters. Oh, I except for talking that. Walford and soap study. Yeah, uh, okay, and soap study, but we're the only one who does actual content. Unlike the other folks, who are like, "Welcome to back to my podcast." We do we do Reddit videos. That's what has never been done before. And if you're going to do that, make sure you credit the innovators of violence, the innovators of watching Walford. Oh, that, the that never the, uh, seven more Reddit threads added to tomorrow's recording schedule. So, uh, 
tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday. I'm fucking oh, working true, Monday. True, yeah. I'm working on a bank holiday Monday. Wait, it's bank holiday. Yeah, Monday's a bank holiday oh. over here. Oh, maybe it's not night in England. God, that's interesting. Um, do you want to talk about the costumes for Krishnan? Any second, I have to find Krishnan. It is not a bank um, holiday on Monday. Whoa. Well, I'm taking Monday off, then. You can work by your fucking self. Um, actually, I can't, because they need to complain to me. I'm like, okay. I'm sorry, Ash, for speaking out of line. And he's like, no, you're fucking placed. I'm like, yeah. Yes, boss. I'll do as you say. And then um, Piggy, will, Piggy will arrive early, arrive late in protest. I'm standing up for the man. Um, the costumes were good. Uh, I just got a history lesson from Ash. Because they're supposed to be... Fuck, Dr. I forgot Jekyll who... and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, jo- jo- uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde from a book that came out thousands of years ago. <laughs> it's not that um, old. It's like a Victorian time. Yeah, it's a Victorian time book. It's essentially... Uh, it's a strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde written in the late 1800s. Um... I don't. I don't really need to explain it. It's essentially. It's. It is the duality of man, <laughs> the good side, the one, the upstanding doctor, the well-respected citizen of society, and then Hyde. No, Jekyll. Hyde's doctor. Jekyll's like an evil fucker who hates everyone and just wants him to get out the fucking way. Beats people up. Pretty sure he's killed someone. And it's about trying to rein in the bad with the good and trying to not just default to the two sides. Um, if you want a Marvel reference, just think of the Green Goblin from No Way Home, but my No Way Home, where uh, Norman Osborn had a fight, the voice in his head, and then um, the Green Goblin took over. And I got that, we got that iconic line, Norman Johnson, of battle girl, honey. And then it was, oh, iconic. <laughs> Do love Will and Defoe. <laughs> P- Piggy's just, just made that reference in there, so if we ever have to watch this in about three years' time, you can go, oh, the Green Goblin, yeah! <laughs> and then everybody else is just going, it's that fucking spider film is for babies. And I'd be like, no, no, East Enders is for babies. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um. So, obviously, Krishnan is, Krishnan is, you know, Jekyll or Hyde. Um... They they really kept saying like oh it was great performance with the like character work guys and I'm like what no it fucking wasn't it was the most underdeveloped part of the dance um because obviously he's supposed to be nice and he's supposed to like oh do Christian described as oh do I want to kiss her or do I want to k- kill her and I was like ooh spooky the most underdeveloped part of the dance um I thought it was a decent number from Krishnan. it was sweeping. It was flowy. It wasn't particularly good, but considering where Krishnan started, and like his, like, like his fucking his floor is like it in the fucking bin, but like his ceiling is actually getting higher and higher. So it was alright. I gave it a six. Um, it got a twenty-seven from the judges. And what did you give it, Piggy? Um, a second. My phone just went off. Um, kiss my rose. Um, go, uh, again, um, the dance was swell. It was elegant. It was good. Uh, good for work. Got a six out of ten for me. Perfect. Um, next up, not much else to say about this. I, <laughs> I don't know. I also I think uh, Lauren just looked really good in the costume. She looked fantastic. Um, and well, Christian looked like Christian. I thought he was. I thought he was trying to be like the Wolf Man, uh, but no, he was being Jekyll and Hyde. Sound fair enough. Next up, we have Angela Rippon and Kai. They're doing another Charleston to the theme from Murder She Wrote by John Addison Tanguera. Uh, what did you think of this one? Because uh, I've not really got the most glowing of responses to it. I don't think I wrote uh, anything for the dance, but I will think of something on the spot because um, I remember the dance. Um, the costume, the costume is from a murder she wrote. A murder she wrote. I don't know the character's name, but she's been in. I think it's an English soap. Um, not soap, but drama, English yeah, drama. Yeah, like an ongoing serial. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's ended, but it's been going on since like the it's been going 80s. On for a long time. Um, if Ash can pull up the exact year, that I would will be good. Be doing that. Oh no, okay, it's it's not been it's not been on air for at least twenty five years. <laughs> Uh, they do repeat. Um, yes, every... it is shown a lot. Murder She Wrote uh, initially from 1984 to 96. Fuck. 12 seasons, 264 episodes, plus four TV movies. Yeah, that the the character who plays the the actress who plays the main character, she like if you look at her, you won't be able to name her, but you'd go she is familiar because yes. she's appeared in literally most uh, around the eighties. She uh, probably appeared. You name a TV show, she might have appeared in it. There's yeah. like a there's like a ninety to ten percent chance she's appeared in it. So I basically said I love the costume. Um, Angela is um the main character from Murder She Wrote. Um, I can tell that because I know what Murder She Wrote looks oh, like in my head. Oh, she the posh woman in Nanny McPhee, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I thought she played the same person who... Oh, no, fuck, I can't pick up the TV show now. Um, like I, I, I'm imagining what they look like, what the actual TV show looks like, because I've seen it before. It's like that thing you know you've seen, but you can't yes. think of the name. Um, yeah, and Kai is obviously supposed to be a security guard. So I just meant to Ash, and Ash just straight away, like a red tick went off in his head, and why is he asking me this? I just meant, what was the name of that guy in Mall Cop? And Ash just meant, Paul Blart. And thank you. I wrote, um, Kai looks like Paul Blart from Mall Cop, because he has that big moustache. He doesn't have the belly, but he does He does have the shirt. Yeah, he, he was dressed, he, he looked like a cop, and he had a moustache. That's the only reason that Biggie's <laughs> saying he looked like Mall Cop. <laughs> like I've never seen Mall Cop, but obviously uh, Brock Baker, fucking greatest movie of all time. That's greatest movie of all time. Paul Blart, Mall Cop. I was like, oh, I, I want to watch. I'd probably watch it, but um, <sighs> I'm good. I'm good, mate. Um, and when I come over, we're gonna watch it and have a doner kebab. Not. Um, we fucking. I'll have a doner kebab, but um, yeah. What are you saying about the actual dance? If you had any, um. Uh, I don't have notes down, but I know my fake um, thing that I'm gonna give it. Um, I love the dance. Like, um, like you have to admit, I'm going off memory here, so you kind of do have to bear with me for this one. Um, what I can remember is they they were doing a lot of like leg movements. She, I believe, she at one point got picked up and swung around. Did she? Yeah. Yeah. Was that the one where she got swung around and it looked like she was about to get hit by the deep six? Yes. 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 Um, a big, which is a wrestling big lift, move. Big lift. It's a big lift, and basically, yeah, for her age, she's pretty good. Um, it might sound like I'm being ageist or something, but you know, usually if you're like We've seventy-five, been praising she... her the whole season. I mean, just think yeah. of Les Dennis. You could swap the ages, and you'd think that they would, they were this like you know, he's seventy-nine and she's sixty-eight because of the sheer like. A lot of people would be too scared to commit as heavily as she does, but she puts as much as she possibly can into it. Um, as for me, though, this stance was cheeks. It wasn't good. Well, I'm sh- I think she looked old. She looked pretty, like, out of time. She looked... I just didn't think it was very good. The di- the lifts were fun, but I really didn't fuck with this Charleston. I... It just... Like I said... Zara pretty much did the same Charleston earlier in the night, and I'd honestly argue that hers was more fun. Um, I she just looked her age in this, and it wasn't very impressive at all. I didn't like the 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 costuming. I didn't really like the choreography. I just thought it was very mid. But I don't know. Everybody's just captivated by Angela and. She's got this cult of personality where everybody just thinks that everything she does is fantastic. I um, thought this was the weakest dance yet from her. Um, the thing is, the thing is, right, and I'm going to compare the two. Les Dennis, he had no, like, right, this might sound harsh, but Les Dennis had no character. Like, you, like yes, yes, oh, why? Wow, he was on Family Fortunes like 40 years ago. Whoopie fucking do, whoopie do. Do you want a fucking medal? Congratulations, I guess. 
but he had no character to him. So that's why people were more harsh to him because oh, he's the guy from he's the guy from Family well, Fortune. Look, uh, I suppose just a kind of he has character, but he doesn't. He can't put that into his dancing. Like yes, it, it doesn't and, transfer over. And you look at Angela. You look at Angela Rickman. Even if she does a shit dance, you go, "Wow, you're amazing for your age. You've a great character." Yeah, like she's she's showing I mean, that she, she belongs she's in amazing, the dance floor. Like disregarding her age. Like yeah, yeah. Well, you you look at her and you go, "You do this over on the dance floor." And then you look at Les. You're like, "Les, Les, you've had one too many scoops. Fucking sit sit in your chair. Watch the other people do it. Do not come and do this again. You will break your pelvis." And you look at Angie and like, oh, "What yogurt are you doing? Not mm-hmm. yogurt." Okay, kid, Keanu, calm down. I didn't say yogurt. Um, I'm just waiting for us to go, did someone say yogurt? Uh, yogurt. Um, so, yeah, Angela, like, for her age, even if she does a shit dance, um, you will go, oh, well. Well, she just has one presence, right? So Yeah, she has that presence. That's what carries it. But, yeah, I, I gave it a five. I thought it was fucking shit. But then a I'm a clear hater of a Charleston. I don't like the dance. I think it's the same every single time. And I could never see it again and be happy. Even a really good Charleston's just shit. I don't know. I've just seen, I've seen the sweat. I've seen like the, the like swivels. I've seen the fucking like do 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 do. I've seen that fucking shit every time where it's all ah. Oh, I just dislike the dance. Um, and I didn't think Angela did a particularly good job of it. Um, but obviously, it's still a decent dance, but not in my eyes. I, uh, judges gave it a 33. Um, next up, we're down to the last three of the evening. We have Annabelle and, and Johannes. Johannes, they're dancing the tango to Need You Tonight by INXS. Not sure what the fuck that means. <laughs> um... Annabelle is probably in the bottom two this week. Um, she, the one thing that I felt was a lot different this week. Um, I suppose actually, do you want to go into the costumes first? They were both devils, uh, right? They were uh, long night. Um, love the sexy devil costumes. They were sexy devil. Um, you know, you don't have to picture a sexy devil. All oh, they have is horns, big, you know, baboos. Um, yeah, big horns like Pikachu, um, or Charmander. Uh, I I don't know Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know Pokemon. <laughs> They're a fucking weave. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh, Ash's gonna murder me. No, I, I was. Um, I was so like they were. Yeah. You had more. <laughs> and so they were basically devil. They were basically dressed up as devils. I know, I know all the uh, Catholics and Protestants are going to get annoyed because they're promoting the devil's work on fucking live TV, even though you look at it. They're not going out there with a cross saying 666, suck me dick, you know, hail Satan. Um, they're literally just dressed up in devils, but I can see people getting annoyed um, because if anyone, can, anyone gets outraged at fucking anything. Um, and we're the snowflakes. Um... Yeah, they were just sexy devils. That was mainly it. Sexy devils. Yeah, all right, fair enough. I was, I didn't know whether to jump in or whether you were like rounding up something better. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, sexy devils. Fair enough. It encapsulates it. It's exactly what they were. Um, promoting, uh, promoting the devil's work on national TV. Fucking BBC. I mean, this was How the devil's you? work because this was entirely unremarkable. Probably just probably needed a bit more time in the fucking oven, and ultimately he was just a bit shit. It was a fucking boring tango, you know. Each week Annabelle comes out, and like last week she had a fucking cartwheel. It's like yeah, but this week she didn't do anything to stand out. She didn't do anything impressive. It was just a slow, plodding, not very well executed tango. Um, I thought it was absolute hot garbage. It feels like she's lost the desire to stand out. It was boring. I think she's lost her confidence. I gave it a four. Uh, I just have to find my notes here. Sorry. Sorry, lad. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Devil costume. Devil costume. Yeah, yeah, found it. Um, like the dance. Um, wait, no, hang on. The, um, the dance was strong until the end. 
I uh, hope they don't get eliminated. Six out of ten for me. Um, like their bark. Um, I am on the right one, aren't I? I am on the right one. Um, it's still funny because Piggy decides to organize the notes like alphabetically, which fair enough, personal taste. But alternatively, I rank them by order of what happens. So, you know, it's the the two different mindsets, but it's just a weird, a weird little funny distinction in between. Um, but yeah. Yeah, you know, we're all unique. Joey, stop licking the bed. He's licking himself. Oh, I don't think he's licking the bed. I just looked behind you and I was like, is he licking the bed? Yeah, not he's again. just off camera for the people. And now he's left. No, no he's not. Well, he's about to. See, yeah. he heard you. Um, but yeah, this got a... I, got a, I gave it a four. It got a 29 from the judges. It was one of the most... It was just so boring. I was genuinely tired. Like, it's hard to be bored in the span of 90 seconds. But I was like, ah, oh, fucking hell. Are we just going to keep doing this then? Is this it? Like, oh, it's over. Sound. I've always been saying throughout all the time, Annabelle lacks the star power that a lot of the other dancers do have. Um, And, you know, Amanda's gone. She was a good dancer. Um, Annabelle's not stepping up into her shoes. Let's say that much. Um. Yeah, it was just she is probably in the bottom two. Um, it's between uh, it's probably her. It's probably Zara and Gratz, uh, definitely probably going this week, and either Krishnan or Annabelle going. But I think I don't think Annabelle's necessarily endeared herself to the strictly audience. I think Krishnan's actually proven that he's got a lot of potential in the competition. So. It probably is Annabelle and Johannes and uh, Zara and Gratz. And even in that sense, I still kind of somehow believe that Zara might might stay in there. Just because she's a lot more interesting than Annabelle will ever be. <laughs> Poor woman. She's a well she's a well accomplished tennis player. Had a great career. And I'm just shitting on her. What have I done? I'm wearing a Pikachu onesie. Who's lived a better life? It's me. It's fucking me. <laughs> yeah, we we have a famous channel. Do you have a famous yeah, channel? Yeah, do you have I... 255 subscribers on YouTube? I don't fucking think so, Annabelle. Grow up. And do you have a, a senior dog? I don't fucking think so. <laughs> it's senior. It's senior. Yeah, senior dog. You're an old dog. I just... I... I, um, my brain imagined it being like a fucking position at a fucking company. Yep, he's the senior dog. He he is the <laughs> head petter. You know, <laughs> if anybody gets strokes, he gets a strokes, and then the the uh, the junior the the, the uh, junior dog gets all the extra ones if it's going. Next <laughs> up, we have Nigel Harmon and Catcher Fox. Catcher Fox drop. Fuck's sake. Catcher Fox. Catcher fucking looking. Um, I. Didn't get rid of those notes. Nigel Harmon and Katja, they're dancing the chatter chat to I was made for loving you, baby. They're doing a foxtrot. I was made for loving you, baby. Are they doing a foxtrot? Yeah, they are. Because it's Katita, the foxtrot, that you've written here, that I'm reading directly. No, no, it was was a chatter chat. Then why the fuck do you have Foxtrot here? Because uh, that's just what they did last week. So so you... So, oh, you've confused me then. <laughs> I wrote it down wrong. Okay, sorry. I, sorry, boss. Yeah, yeah I, I gracefully gave you my notes. Your notes are wrong. Homie. Wow. Your I notes are wrong of... before me. They were wrong with me. How about that? Who can you trust? <laughs> Fucking nobody. You can't trust anyone in this in this business. <laughs> Fucking wrestler right there in this business. Oh, I live and breathe it. <laughs> I enjoyed this chat cha I thought you executed it fantastically. It was a smooth and gorgeous dance. I really enjoyed the like zombie theming. I thought that was fucking sick. They started it with like a and then they fucking ended it with a and then fucking oh. Um Nigel continued to show a lot of tan- talent and promise. 
the judges are like, oh, you made so many mistakes, mate. Um, and it's about time I realised that I just have an inherent bias. Because <laughs> I just really like Nigel. I really like all the soap people. I just love them all. They're really good. They're all strong. So I gave it a 9. The judges only gave it a 30, which I think is fucking harsh. Uh, the costumes, they, they, were, they were sexy zombies, of course, weren't they? I wouldn't really call them as sexy, but... They, they were zombies. I mean, he um, was a silver fox, so... Oh, 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 woof! Moo! I... <laughs> Sorry, got what? a bit excited there. Okay. Gave a um, woof, gave yeah. it a moo. Woof woof moo moo. Um woo woo moo moo. Um the um the costumes I enjoyed, they were good costumes. Yeah. Um seven out of ten. Again thirty from the judges. Um the dance from what I saw was good because my feet kept lagging a little. Um you know Irish people don't have good Wi Fi we our Wi Fi is potatoes lad. <laughs> I'm just also laughing because it sounded like you said your feet were lagging. Ah, funny. <laughs> yeah, my feet were lagging. P- Piggy's doing the fucking two step, and he's two steps behind. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine that! I'll be criminal. I'll be criminal. Do you just just the two step. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, fuck. Do 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 do. It's clowns music. Could you imagine we lagged in real life? I'll be doing that all the time, mate. Someone just asked me a question. I'm I'm not ready for it. Just you got anything? Nah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> I just it, I was in the chippy the other day and I I got just wanted some chips. And there was a woman who is clearly like the boss was having a conversation with this guy. I was like, oh, I bet you make lots of money in this. And she's like, not really, not in this economy. And then he's like, yeah, but I bet you make tons of money. Then she goes through all these reasons as to why, like, you know, it's pretty hard to make chip shop sustainable because you don't get that much fucking money, you know? You're not fucking making 20 grand a night, are you? Probably getting, like, 500 to a hunt to a, to a grand, like, max on a chip shop, and that's if it's a busy night. Um, and then she fucking posed a question to me because I was all grinning about because she was absolutely wrecking this fucking Brexit geezer. Um, and then she asked, she asked me something, and I'm just like, I just want my chips, mate. <laughs> I just want my chips. My brain's lagging. I've got nothing. I tried to respond in kind, but I wasn't loud enough. I just want me chips. Um, see, I love a good chip shop. Um, but you got to support your local chippy, your local chipper. Um, don't support the big businesses. Support the little men. Um, like don't Tiny support man. your burger. Uh, yeah, tiny men. Don't support your Burger Kings or McDonald's. Yeah, they're going to give you good chips, but would you much rather get good chips from a chippy? That's the real question. Oh, yeah, perfectly in shot. As always. He heard, chi- he heard, chi- he heard chips and was like, oh, I'm giving me chips. <laughs> oh, and he's off. Oh, no, he's back. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Little dog in the background. But yeah, I really like this though. And the one thing I felt bad about is Nigel was clearly felt like he fucked up because every he looked like he was about to cry after the judges like you just made mistakes, mate. And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's alright, it's fine. I thought they did really good. I uh, just I I've, I've realised my biases though because I just love the soap people. I I can't not. All right, I've, but hey, this week I'm no longer shitting on Leighton, so you know I'm scoring all the points. The gays love me. The men love me. The women love me. The others love me. Everybody loves me. Except for me. Mm. Next up, we have Ellie and Vito. They're doing a salsa to murder on the dance floor. DJ Mellon, I call the girl murder on the dance floor. (laughs) (laughs) This is by Sophie Ellis Bexter. This is obviously the final dance of the evening. The the cherry on top of the cake. And Ellie has proven that she is a very competent dancer in a competition. I've given her tens the bulk of the time. 
last week's Paso Doble was probably my favorite Paso Doble I've ever seen. Um, and this one was, I described this song as this dance, a salsa, should be the perfect song. And this is a, this is the dance that 100% establishes her as one of the, like, favorites, along with Leighton. Um, what were the costumes, Vicky? What were the costumes? Why are they green? <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Why were they green? Um, they were green pe- pe- people? People. People. I don't know. Were they, were they supposed to be Shrek? Were they supposed to be Frogs? Were they supposed to be Hulk? What were I, they supposed I, to be? I wish I knew. I do, I do um, wish I knew. But they were green people. Um, see, if they were blue, you could tell they would be Smurfs because it'd be easy. What else is blue? Um, I don't know. I'll never um, know. Except for a blue little house with a blue little window. Um, blue this, blue is life. Um, yeah, why, why are they green? It's just my question. Like the question that Rick Shea always gets. Why are you bald? Um, yeah, so, yeah, why, why, why are they green? I'm just having a Is brief familiar? look to, uh, see what, like, why were they fucking green? Um, Twitter doesn't have much for me. I'll be honest. It really does not. Um, but other than that, the costume gets an A. Because you you leave a lot of the imagination. You don't sh- like if if I'm going as fucking Thanos um to the party and you just go in like just as red, just, uh, the color red. You're gonna leave people asking questions. And One I- thing I do find funny seeing on the Twitter is uh. Everybody's angry at Shirley for critiquing Nigel, which I like it, um, and I appreciate it. Still don't know why they were green. Haven't figured out that one, but yes. Um, yeah, I do, I but it is it, 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 does, it, does, it does leave mystique. It does leave you mystique and mysterious because again, they're they're cool, they're edgy. You know, they're green. I'm just going to be like an English teacher. Yeah, yeah, they were very edgy, very cool. Yeah, we'll understand the concept why of why were they green. Because they were green. That's why. Um, yeah, um, the dance was good, but the green just confused me. Like, it, like, it just confused me. Because I'm sat there and I'm like, okay, the dance is good. The dance is more on the dance floor. Teacher on a hill of a groove. The more on the dance floor. I'm like, yeah, yeah, the songs are good. The songs are good. Oh, the dancing, the dancing. Why are you green? And it's a, you're taking me away from the song and the dance because you're green. Yes. Uh, um, but other than that critique, uh, the costume got an 8 out of 10. The dance got a 7 out of 10. It would have got an 8 out of 10 purely because of this song. But they're fucking just the green costumes. Although I love it because it's mysterious and unique. Uh, you could have explained to us why the fuck you just had green paint on. I'm sure it's just us not being cultured, and some people just like I got it immediately. So let's just act actually, like they were being the green giant. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, actually, guys, if you look at it, it's actually it's actually um, a metaphor for the green giant who's been oppressed for many years uh, by his people. I mean, for he's being a giant. giant. He's on a tiny can, right? Why um, is he, he? Why is he selling sweet corn? He's green. Sweet corn's not green. And, and if you Where's look at the that, brand his... synergy, give me some green sweet corn. So, so if you look at that, then you understand why they are the green giant. It's because he's been oppressed for many years. He was once a slave, and now he's um now he's a green giant who doesn't back down from anyone. Just give me some green sweet corn, lads. Why didn't you do it? It's perfect branding opportunity. Rebrand sweet corn even, as green, not I, yellow. Don't need it. How, how do you even how do you even make green sweet corn? Do you get like food dye? I'll I'll let people figure out that one. They're they they're, 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 they're going to be in the in the green giant offices right now. Fucking hell, lads! That's a great idea. Um, all right. So Ellie and Vito salsa to murder on the dance floor. Um, Ellie and Vito managed to make the dance look absolutely flawless. Um, and they haven't done they haven't done lifts up till this point, and that means that there is now an extra element in their game that they can now pull out. You know that they can bring out the depth 
They've showed the story dances. They've showed the fucking explosive dances. They've had the Leighton and Akita like, we can fucking dance, you bastards. So now adding lifts into that thing. Like, imagine, imagine Zara and Gratz if, they, if, if Gratz didn't fucking throw her around every week, you know? She'd be gone immediately. Um, but this just adds an extra tight element to their game. And these lifts were fucking ridiculous! Like, he, like, fucking spins her out, and she, like, gets one, and then she, like, fucking folds in. It's like, holy, what the fuck's going on here? Like, how would you even get a person to do that? If, like, the lifts were impeccable. If there's any dance... Sorry, if there's any dances to go and watch, this dance is the one to watch. Um... And I just say that them adding the dances makes them to, it makes the couple like immensely further. Like I go Ellie and Vito here, Leighton here, and then everybody else is kind of starting to plateau out. Um, but I just went, it was quick, fast, clean, absolutely incredible. The lists are ridiculous. Still not sure why they're green, but I gave it a 10. It got a 38 from the judges and it got two 10s from both Shirley and Motsy. So. It's just, it was a really good dance, and it definitely, I would argue it's probably the best finishing dance of the season so far. Um, it was just fantastic. I truly love it. And I don't know, I just like Ellie for some reason. Didn't even like her on Coronation Street. Thought she was shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I absolutely love her on Strictly, so. I wild. Anything else to say about this dance? Yeah, I think we get into our final thoughts. Uh, we we wrap this up. All right. Um. So all in all, as a week, it was pretty strong. A lot of the dancers showed up. Don't have to look at Amanda anymore, which is a big plus. Um. <laughs> she was a good dancer, but stop treating people like ass. Um. um yeah, I agree. I'm I'm just trying to avoid the the ten minute derail. <laughs> we've we've already derailed this and long enough talking about amanda she's gone hold on hold on amanda i've got you at present hold on hold on way way um, <laughs> it was My a very finger. strong week of dances or oh, i've just fucked up shit on the floor um dropped it um it was a good week of dances i liked it a lot it was very strong i liked the theming i really enjoyed a lot of the choreography and a lot of the the outfits are really cool. That's why I appreciate that Piggy actually took note of some of them and like fucking judged them because a lot of them were really cool. And it allowed them to play around with some different themes. Obviously, you know why can you just fucking play as what what are you fucking doing over there? Nothing. Don't worry. Uh, distracting me. Um, <laughs> like, there's a lot of themes that you can't necessarily do other than it being Halloween and like slightly spooky. Um, I still think that Angela's uh, rip-on was the worst. I just hated that fucking Charleston. Why are you dancing to the Murder, She Wrote theme? It's not iconic, you fuckers. It's not iconic. It's shit. It's shit. It's like dancing to Midsummer Murders theme. Fuck off. What wanky bullshit are you doing over here? Nobody wants to dance to that. It wasn't even a good, good theme. Fuck you. <laughs> Angie. Um, but yeah, there we are. Angie, what yeah. did you think? Your final thoughts on the week of Strictly, mate? Um, it was a good week of Strictly, I will say. Uh, loved it. Um, want to see more of this kind of spooky season? Strictly won't happen, of course. Well, next year. <laughs> next year, if we're still doing it next year. Um, most likely will. Probably. Um, Unfortunately. No, it's been fun. It has been. It has been fun. I'm sweating in this. Um, I regret wearing this because I feel like I'm in fucking I'm in hell yes you're, um, the, you're the Annabelle and Johannes who do you reckon leaves tomorrow who's who's booted out oh the shit one I can't tell you who the shit one is because I don't pay attention to all their shit I just look at them and go you know, that, was, that was an alright dance you but know what? Pro- completely fair enough mate that is just... The most on brand and yes, yes, Slay Queen nailed it. <laughs> like whoever you say is going to get eliminated, true. <laughs> like whoever you say is going to get eliminated, I'll just go, yeah, yeah, I agree with you, Ash. So I look like I'm a professional doing this, but you want my honest thoughts, guys? You think I'm going to put a hundred percent into a series that that was Ash's idea 
That is not EastEnders. That's messed up, mate. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring that in a hundred percent. I'm 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 dripping over here. It's Pikachu onesie. I, I can't feel my legs. I, I'll, I'll just stand up for a second. I'll, I'll do the old ants on do back. Get this fucking. I'll try and lift up my leg. Oh, fucking, it's not it's not reaching that high. Fucking, oh, that's that's splitting. Yeah, it's not happening. It's not even <laughs> possible. I've just split the fucking ass out of this. <laughs> so. I better see a sneak preview of that now when, sp- when, when this bad guy's nah, over. It's not that split, but fundamentally, I can't feel my fucking legs in this. <laughs> um, <laughs> There we are. It's week seven of Strictly Speaking. It's episode seven as well. Week six of The Dancing. We are roughly in the halfway point of the show. Obviously, it ends about, what, two weeks from Christmas? So it'll likely finish around the 13th of December, 14th, that kind of time. Um, So we are pretty much, we're about to cross the bridge to the halfway point of the series. So I now pose the question to you. Have you guys been enjoying the Strictly Come Dancing videos? I know it's a weird thing how to be on like the weekend of the soap channel, but fundamentally, it's been a good way to try and get a bit more out of our comfort zones, find a new way, find a different angle, you know. Am I like this on the on the EastEnders podcast? 70% of it, yes, but the extra 30% is a whole lot of wanky nonsense. That is good fun. Um, and Um, I suppose the other question I pose is what other sorts of, what other sorts of, like, TV series would you like us to cover in this fashion? Because, you know, we got the fucking time. We can put the hours in to do stuff like this. So if you have that question or answer for us, tell us in the comment section down below. Um, I just, if you want me to speak on my part. Uh, if you like my my weird fucking uh, judging thingy, Majiki, just know, like, it's not... I, I do care about this series. I do care. I don't think I'm just like, Ash, give me that fucking paycheck, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'll show off for the paycheck. That's it. Won't get paid, but I'll show off for the paycheck. I um, It, it may sound harsh saying I don't care. I do care. It's just I'm not going to be like, well, actually, if you look at this, her left foot didn't move as good as her right foot. And um, when she did that little split, so actually I give I get minus five points and she gets a five out of ten. I'm not like that. I just play eh, good dance. Yeah, you're, like, you're not gonna Piggy's get. You're not gonna not be. Ex- Piggy's not exactly you sat there like me, where I'm like fucking. I'm like I'm I'm trying to put my fucking analyst judge hat on. Cause I, know, I have good fun like writing all these wanky comments that I don't really believe, but I've written down, so I'm gonna say them anyways. You know. Like, it is fun being a weird judge because I've got my takes on shit that I've known nothing about. But obviously, Piggy's just going to go, yeah, it's right. <laughs> yeah, That's the part of the um, charm. Like, you're probably going to get sick of me saying, oh, it was a good dance because I'm not going to be like, <laughs> well, actually, it was an articulated dance. It really showed what uh, Nazi Germany was like in the 1930s. You know, perfect dance. Um, I'm not going to be like that because I... As I uh, said, uh, the only thing I can recommend is to find different ways to say good. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try and fit a fa- um, I will check out my thesaurus and I will Google all these words. Exactly, mate. Exactly. Um, you just have to liven um, it up because some people might just be like, "Fuck again, bingo card." Oh, fuck me. We got a full house. It's all that was good. Fucking hell. You know, if um, you say it for the same one each time, maybe some people will be like, "Fuck me." Do you know any other words? Guys, guys, leave me alone. Watch my channel. One more match, please. <laughs> it, it, you, you, you can't play the dyslexia card in here. Not allowed. Um, but oh, yeah, if you... Ooh, the one's a posh boy. Um, <laughs> Definitely not me. Um, but if you do like our sorts of content and you want to see us review more TV shows, fuck it, if you even want to see us meet, review Meet the Osbournes, the Ozzy Osbourne uh, reality TV show oh, from the God, 2003. Um, we we will do I don't it know where if the you, fuck you pulled it. that from. <laughs> oh, I just I just keep seeing the clip of Ozzy Osbourne where he's sat on the porch and he's like, "Meet the Osbournes, yabba yabba fucking do." And it's just like you see, I just like Ozzy Osbourne. He he sounds like a sound man. Um, 
absolutely riddled by the drug. Like, uh, yeah, he's yeah, asking a question. Ossie, what do you think? And he just kind of sits there, phased out. And then just goes... <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you want to, um, if you also want to see us uh, watch Meet the Oswalds, uh, Nick Junior TV show, then we'll gladly watch that. Or you know, you want we'll like to make us pose a public vote or something like we did with the Strictly. Um, um if you want to see us like watch Barney the Dinosaur's first movie with Barney the Dinosaur's hater that Tom Scott did, and it was great. And um, we will gladly do it. Fuck it, we can make these all fucking channel fucking things, membership yokes. Um, I'm but just again, if you for someone to say, can you do all like fifty days of I'm a celeb, and we're just like, oh, the adverts, ah, oh, the adverts, ah. Oh, but whatever but you yeah. want to do, we'll do. Essentially, yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll try well, if we can find within the reason, like within yeah. reason. Can Can you actually watch um How I Met Your Fucker? Oh, what is that? It's a porno of how I met your mother. Uh, how 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 would we even review it? Well, well, you, you guys are YouTubers. You know how tight, to. Tight cock there, bud. Fantastic <laughs> cock. Nailed that fucking woman fantastically. Oh, pretty lovely. Absolute. The the build to the climax was fucking fantastic. You see, he's pounding, he's pounding, he's pounding. She's like, Way! And he's fucking, uh, uh, and it fucking ramps up the fucking climax where she comes three times in a row. Uh, no, I'm a sexual man, so I've, I've absolutely shagged many women three times in a row. Three climaxes, three comes in three seconds in a row. One time, may have lied, wasn't me. Oh yeah, again, you can follow us on Twitter slash X, Instagram and Twitch, at Watching Walford. Subscribe to us on YouTube, at Watching Walford. And again, if you want us to review anything within reason... <laughs> Um, we can even review your dogs on the, on, on the uh, podcast if you send them in. We'll set up an email. You can send your dog pictures and we'll, we'll review them on the podcast. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll do anything. I mean, it's simply, um, about, it's simply about trying stuff that's slightly out of the comfort zone, right? Um, so we um, get to, you know, put us in a different environment and see what dumb shit comes out. I think there's been some good lines. I think there's been some good jokes. I think there's been some good shit this season. Um, and we're only halfway there, so yeah, just we have been uh Ash and Piggy from watching Wolford. Um, and just make sure to keep watching. Um, should obviously see a bit more, bit more invig, bit reinvigorated as we did just have the last week off, pretty much. You know, a lot more energy flowing, a lot more ready. No longer sat here just like. I don't want to fucking watch Strictly, man. Don't make me watch. Oh, God. And then I'm like, oh, this one's going to be a short one. I'm not feeling it. Two hours. Ah. Oh. Because <laughs> we like to take our time with these things. If you couldn't tell yeah. by this 10 minute long outro. Thank you for watching Strictly Speaking, episode 7. Any suggestions, tell us in the comment section down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe, share it. Um, Anything else? Boogity, boogity. It's a happy Halloween. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.